The U.S. has proposed to ensure two out of every three new vehicles are electric by 2032. It's deemed an aggressive plan in its fight against climate crisis. And Lee Soo Jin has more on its potential impact on Korean car makers. South Korean automakers face both an opportunity and a challenge. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency proposed new climate pollution rules on Wednesday that by 2032 would cut greenhouse gas emissions from light-duty vehicles such as sedans by 56 percent compared to 2026 levels. To meet these standards, automakers would have to increase their production of electric vehicles. Once these proposals are finalized, the EPA forecasts that 67 percent of new light-duty vehicles produced will be electric by 2032. The proposal also includes emission rules for heavy-duty vehicles to ensure that half of new buses and a quarter of new heavy trucks are all electric by 2032. The plans also sets minimum EV battery standards that require batteries to maintain more than 70 percent of their original capacity after eight years of usage. I'm pleased to announce that EPA is proposing the strongest ever federal pollution technology standards for both cars and trucks. EPA estimates that this proposal would reduce our cumulative CO2 emissions by 7.3 billion metric tons from the years 2027 through 2055. Automakers are facing a monumental challenge. As last year, only 5.8 percent of new cars sold in the United States were all electric, and all electric trucks accounting for less than 2 percent. South Korean companies are also left with a daunting task. Hyundai Motor and Kia accounted for only 3.9 percent of electric vehicles sold in the U.S. last year. Hyundai Motor has been aiming to raise that figure to 58 percent and Kia to 47 percent by 2030, but they may need to accelerate their target time frame. This, however, may also be a chance for domestic automakers to become leaders in the U.S. electric vehicle market as they already have plans to increase investment in EV-related sectors. Hyundai Motor announced just this Tuesday that it will invest 24 trillion won, or around 18 billion U.S. dollars, in EV-related industries and produce more than 3.6 million EV vehicles in global markets by 2030. The company also came third in the U.S. electric vehicle market during the first quarter this year. Lee Soo Jin, Arirang News.